Three tips to succeed in a saturated music industry. Some people say it's best to avoid a saturated market. That if the market is too crowded with competitors, it will be difficult, if not impossible, to penetrate. But let's be contrarian and take the opposing view. In a saturated market, there are clear signals about where opportunities lie. However, most of us don't read those signals properly. When a market is saturated, artists create similar sounding music. That tells us the market has many eager listeners and fans. Otherwise, it wouldn't be sustainable for so many artists to be in it. And that's a great thing to know. It says the whole industry is aware that a great music opportunity exists. But why are artists afraid of a saturated market? The presence of tons of other artists means they are vying for the attention of these hungry fans and listeners. That means the market has a lot of noise. You'll probably feel a lot of pressure to spend more in marketing when in fact your real challenge is just to do effective marketing and come up with unique strategies to get your listeners and fans. Like working smarter, not harder. A saturated market keeps everyone on their toes to always keep improving, otherwise their music would soon become obsolete. The challenge for you is to keep listeners and fans engaged and to keep making your music better. So let's get started. Looking for niche subgenres is one of the best ways of doing this. You can start by doing one thing correctly. Pick a very focused type of music you are good at. Think of this like keywording, where you get real specifics similar to what SEO marketers do to draw in customers. I live in Nashville and country music is a very general genre and so many people here classify themselves as that. But get really specific or subgenre down as much as possible. For example, bluegrass is a subgenre of country, but you can go even further than that. There's bluegrass, old time bluegrass, Appalachian bluegrass, traditional bluegrass, neo traditional bluegrass. You get the picture, right? Different approaches and styles resonate with different people. When you have a distinct style, voice, or brand personality, you'll appeal to specific types of fans. This also includes your values and your vision or what you stand for with your music. With skilled marketers, there's no such thing as a niche that's too saturated. With the right approach, careful analysis, and a relentless commitment to providing something unique and of value to your audience, you'll be able to set yourself up for success, both now and in the future. Another approach to a saturated market is by looking for the gaps. If you look around the music industry and see that all fans and listeners' needs are being met, then you might not be looking hard enough. Look at the music landscape and see the gaps. You can notice things that should be heard but are not out there or not being played. That's a great signal to you that not only is there demand in the marketplace for it, but that a demand is not being met, despite the offerings out there. You need to create something to fill that gap. This doesn't just relate to strictly just music subgenres. It could be anything tied to music. For example, if you sell your music on stock music websites, look for the gaps where there's not a lot of choices or options for customers being offered. There may be a lack of choice in the ambient landscape category that you can fulfill the gap and need for. So go ahead, step in and fill that gap and help people fulfill the needs they want. Building your connections and relationships will always be the number one way to build your career in any industry or field, hands down. And it's also one of the most difficult ones we all struggle with. I have talked about ways to build connections in previous videos, but here are just a few examples. Work with other artists, perform at open mics, do more co-writes, or attend social events. I got quite a bit of connections from attending music seminars. There's usually really good contacts and connection at these. Even just attending NAMM and talking to other individuals can open doors you never realized. I am really trying to hammer home that saturated market or not, this will always be the best way to succeed in any industry. So let's sum this up. Pick one thing you are good at and look for the niche subgenres that really fit your specific style of music. Fill the gaps and find the areas with your special skills and ability to fill and most importantly build relationships and connections. Yes, it's hard. Nobody said it was easy, but those connections are well worth it. In the process of all this, remember to keep your sense of humor and never stop learning. Stop worrying about saturated markets. Worry about what you can contribute to the saturated market that everyone else is missing. I hope you took something useful out of this. Please follow, like, subscribe, and share if you did. And for any questions and comments, please leave them below. Always remember, don't do music just for the money. Do it because you love it. Stay safe. The Music Man out.